come here. Hello, welcome to the channel. Oh, well, I come up here to avoid traffic lights. And then look. Bloody traffic lights. Ah. Oh, you couldn't make that up, could you? Oh, fucking hell. That was unbelievable, that. What the hell are they doing up here? Oh. Oh, damn it. Damn it to hell. Right, today we're on a trip to um, Earth. So, uh, please, can you get your car washed? That's like, that is, you know, several weeks of dirt on there. I know, like, like cars get dirty in the winter, right? Obviously, they do, right? Um, they do. But that is like, that is just minginess. The fact that you're putting your fingers all over the bumper and all over the boot lid, you know. I mean, you could barge your way out of here by now, you know. You not you sit there, you're not going to get out. Get out when this van comes over. Oh, fucking hell. This is definitely a wrong way to go. Without a shadow of a doubt. Hey, come on. Fucking hell. Slow, right? Let's go. Hey! Ah, oh, they don't have any fucking lights on. Ah, oh, Jesus! Oh, I haven't washed their car. Can... This is what happens when you have them. Um... Do you know that? Well, my my white Citroens like that. You nearly hit that car. It's um, when you start it up, if you don't have the auto light uh, feature on, um, you get, you think the lights are on because the side lights come on, but d does that car have side lights in the front? I think it should have, yeah. It's a 13 plate car. Um, <clears throat> Right, so, uh, this is the wrong way to go, I, you know, for where I'm going, we should have went down. Um, I, I suppose I'm just trying to do it different ways, it's just for a bit of uh, interest. But this is definitely a bad way to go, um, to go where I'm going. And the reason I came up this way, actually, one of the reasons is there's roadworks on the A9 at Bannockburn. Um, so, it depends, are you in a hurry? Uh, well, always. And this is a bad time as well. It's rush hour, isn't it? Yeah. So we're getting it. I don't really want to start flashing my lights at this car, you know. Um, it might. Maybe I should. Should I? Have I got a, a moral duty to tell them their lights are not on? Um, probably. Probably do, really, but... A moral duty to tell them that the Lichtensteins are not on! Come on, get your lights on! <laughs> Flash them. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you wanting behind me? And I'm just trying to tell you you've no lights. <laughs> yeah. It's an easy mistake to make. I'm not, I'm not, um, as I say, these videos are film people doing things. And, <laughs> you know, it's one of these things, it's, an, it's a mistake, you know. I've done it. I've, I've went out without lights on. 
But you see, I wouldn't have, is it just the back lights? Or the front? I'm just wondering if they're going to like twig when they get to this darker bit. You still got street lights on here. Um, you know. So, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I don't think they're getting the, the clue of it, are they? That, that their lights are not on. But do they know? Do they know their lights are not on? I doubt it. You know, generally, like old cars, you used to get them, the battery was flat, and you could still drive them. You put the lights on, they conk out. <laughs> but, like, modern cars, with all the computers and everything, if it was a case of that, then probably the whole thing would stop going. Um, No, we've got a we've got a diversion. Well, I don't know why they changed their minds there. Um, they were going in that lane. Now they're going in this lane. Uh, we've got to watch. I flashed them like three times. Uh, got a big truck coming. I've tried doing it again, but I don't know, seem to be getting it. Really? Hey, right, go! Go! Fucking hell, everybody else is going, you fucking clown! Fucking dumb! Maybe there was a fault with the, the back lights. I didn't quite see there when I was... I was trying to really just alert them that I don't have any lights on. You know, that's what I was trying to do. Really, but... It didn't seem to work much, did it? And maybe, you know, maybe they know. And maybe it's the, the back lights. Oh, well, normally... It's unusual for back lights not to work. You get some kind of weird electrical fault. Or maybe it's just got the running lights on at the front. But, I mean, when you're sitting there and you've got the traffic on the right-hand side of you going, and you're not going, you're not much of a driver, are you? But, of course, if you've no lights, you know, well, if, if you've got no lights, you're not going to see very well. This is definitely sort of a long way to come here, but eh, well, a bit of excitement. They probably don't know what I was flashing about, you know. Or maybe they've just borrowed the car or something. They don't know how to work the lights. It's a Ford though. Fords are usually quite easy, aren't they? to work the controls. When I mean, really, if you've got no light, well, I've done it years ago, I had a Jeep, the lights didn't work. You really, you know. Now, it was, um, it was a trailer, yeah. You really shouldn't do that, I mean, I have done it. But if, if you know that your lights don't work, if I, if I thought my lights didn't work, there's no way I'd go out in the dark. Maybe in the daylight you could chance it if you're going somewhere. Like going to a garage to get the lights fixed. That was like really weird, you know, it was just like not having any of it. Normally, if you like flash somebody, they'll get a clue there's something wrong. You know?
but you know, in this type of weather, you can't really drive with the lights, can you? In the winter, um, it's really dangerous. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. Even I'm slightly mad, but I don't think I would do that. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not. A, it's, it's a bit of an. If, if it's a problem with the back lights, it's a bit unusual. I think, you know, normally like it'd be all your lights wouldn't work. You know, but I, I need to look at. If, I'll, new, I'll look at. I think it might be the sort of daylights. When you turn the ignition on, the dashboard lights up, and and your day, in my white car, the dashboard lights up. But if the lights are switched off. So it gives you the impression that the lights are on. Maybe I'll need to check it. In the white car. I'll have a look. Does that mean the back lights come on when you you know when you turn the ignition on and the date the running lights? I think there was something that started in Sweden. The Scandinavian cars had that long before our cars had that. The Volvos would have running lights. I think it's partly because you know their country is higher up and. It's darker, maybe in the winter. Probably, I think, is the reason. But again, I don't even know about that. So it's not too bad, this way of getting here. Um, this is an M876. We're doing 62 miles per hour. Um, I don't really drive as fast as I used to. I used to do about 80, 90, or 100. Uh, I've become mature and sensible. And I've got to pay for the fuel! So here we are, we're at this bit here on the left is the M876. And this, we are on the M9. Which is interesting because there's actually two motorways here. Oh, right, I must remember, I'm turning off. <laughs> right! You know, you almost forgot, didn't you? <laughs> oh, jeez, I was... Because normally when I'm coming down here, I'm going into Edinburgh. Yeah, just as well I was starting yabbling about about this being the M876. Uh, it takes you to Concord Bridge. But the motorway is quicker, but I suppose, like, getting there was a bit of an issue. All the traffic. It's definitely further, yeah. The whole thing about the speed limits as well, one of the problems with 20 miles per speed limits is the cars use m more fuel so it causes more pollution. It's just a bit of a issue with it. So uh, that thing, so if it, say it was like seven miles to go where I'm going, using the motorway and it was only five going the other way, it could be that I'm using less fuel coming down the motorway. You know, I need to look at the you know, the, the, dis the distance. I think it's like an extra, maybe two or three miles doing it this way. Of course, with the traffic back there in Stirling and Bannockburn, winds are melting, actually. You know, it, it's a bit of a problem. So, I don't know, so that's wrong way. I think the, the, the best way is to probably is do the closest way if you're going anywhere. what I tend to do. I actually enjoy driving. Um, I, I, I've got my friend, he doesn't like driving. Uh, he says he doesn't. I mean, he's older than me, but he doesn't enjoy it. I mean, I, I totally get why somebody wouldn't enjoy it, because we've got so many regulations and crap and restrictions and so on and so forth um, that it's fully understandable why you would get upset about it and not want to do it, you know. Um, so, so yeah. So we're going into this earth, in the earth now. Uh, I don't have any time to go and do anything. It's just a, this is just a driving video. The point of this video is just that we drive on the motorway, that's it. And it's sitting in C3. Uh, there's nothing really hugely important that I need to talk about. Apart from the uh, I got a wee bit of encouragement today. Yesterday on the channel I had 
a series of quite a lot of really narcissistic, unpleasant comments. And there was a guy that who I thought was quite a nice guy announced that he, he reckoned I had a chip on my shoulder and he was leaving, sort of thing, you know. And uh, I suppose, at the end of the day, I don't know. You know, you, you don't really know people, do you? It might bring you sort of closer to people, but you still don't know them. So this guy, he was sort of lived locally, and I, I think it upset me a wee bit that I'd upset him, you know. Um, basically, it was over the... When the lady up at West Soccerford came down, it was that, that video where that woman was... Um, pestering me when I was filming. I think he must have thought that I, that I was being unpleasant to her, uh, which I was, and... I stand by it, um, that if you're going to come harassing me when I'm not on your property, and if you claim it is your property and it isn't, then you're going to go up, you're going to get filmed, you know? I think that's... And I'm, I'm not... It's a wee bit of an obsessive side of me that I'm not going to not show you what happened. You know, and even if it maybe puts me in a bad light, a lot of the videos put me in a bad light. Like, the, like some of the, the sort of things when I'm going nuts about somebody in front of me or something, you know, a road rage type thing, and um, where I'm swearing or something, and it upsets people. They take it personally. Um, or, or they think that I'm picking on another person when, in fact, in front of you is a car. It's a metal box, you know. Like... You know, so they're doing something and I'm swearing or something. It's just making me look like a tit, but I'm being... This is the real me, you know. And I'm in my car, normally on my own, so it's not like... So the only... There's nobody getting, like, bullied, because there's nobody in the car with me, but the perception is that I'm bullying the car in front, like the, like that one with, with no lights on, you know. Was I bullying them by flashing at them? Um, no, I mean, I was flashing at them to alert them that there was something wrong. If somebody's flashing at you, you normally need to find out, don't you? If it was me, I would like, pull in and have a look. What the hell's wrong? I've got a flat tyre. What is it? You know? I had somebody in Edinburgh did that you know, with the van. He was waving, peeping at me, and, I re and he was pointing at the back of the van, so I realised that the tyre was flat, pulled in and uh, pumped it up. And um, then I got it fixed, you know. So that was... You don't always really necessarily um, are aware of these things. You know, the handling's a bit weird when the tyre's flat. But maybe you just haven't quite noticed it yet. You know, so... Um, I, mean, I suppose this road here, I've got a lot of hassle here with the videos. No, not a hassle, it's good for the videos, but... I've had a lot of old people here going really slow in front of me. And I put them on, and there's people who think I was being quite cruel about them, but I don't think so. I think it's 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 the real world we're in, and if you are operating a, a machine and, and not up to standard, like you're not going the prescribed speed, then you should, you know? And if, if you can't see where you're going, that's another like decision you've got to make before somebody else makes it for you. you know, it's, it might happen to me someday, you know? Um, who knows? I'll just have to accept it and, you know, find other, other ways of getting around. Uh, but it's certainly not a good a good outcome for anyone, you know, to have to stop driving, especially when they're tightening everything up. Um, so, it's just the way it goes, you know. Um, yeah, who knows? It might be that I have to leave this country. <laughs> um, the tightens things up any worse. Um, so I've got a bit of a, a guy on Facebook um, try to cl I, I claimed that the government's pushing EVs and he's sort of arguing with, about that. He's one of these people that's he's sort of muscled his way out of the argument by changing things. He's actually quite clever and he's writing it all very well. So I need to sort that out. So what happens, I, I start getting a bit frustrated. You've got to watch, you start getting angry. When you're answering somebody or arguing with somebody, you better just switch off. So if, it, if, if it's online, you know, go away, make a cup of tea, switch the computer off, you know, or something. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll use my voice activated command system. End video now!